Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing what I've been seeing going around on YouTube lately and that is a full face of nothing new. So I dug in my drawers and tried to figure out what I have that isn't so new. I mean, I feel like we get so caught up with everything that's coming out nowadays you know new things drop pretty much every day now and we get so caught up with trying to get the latest thing that we often forget about those special little gems in our drawer so i've dug in my drawers gathered up a few things that i haven't used in a while there are some products that i don't have alternatives for or a lot of so you may have seen me use them in previous videos but for the most part i tried to find the things that i don't typically grab or gravitate towards i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you do don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as to all of my socials which will be linked down below and screen and sometimes throughout videos that's really all i wanted to say so let's just get right into the video so i really tried to find things that I don't typically use and I'm kind of scared just a little bit I hope this look turns out okay I'm gonna start off with priming my face now this is an old product but it's new for me so I don't know if that's necessarily fair but we're talking about things that aren't new and this benefit poor professionals poor primer is not something that's like freshly new on the market it's been around for a while although I've only used it a few times I'm gonna use it in today's video because it's not new so I'm just gonna focus this in my t-zone area and I like this product because it seems to like smooth out my skin as well and I do see that it blurs my pores a little bit it's not taking them away, but it's definitely blurring them. So I did moisturize my face. So I'm not gonna put this like all on my face because I didn't really have any other primers that were necessarily old, except for this one hard candy one, but I don't honestly don't care for that primer and it pretty much does the same thing that this one does and that's definitely not a primer that I would put all over my face. So for foundation today, we are going to be taking this L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation. Now this foundation has been sitting in my drawer for quite some time and I have not picked this up in such a long time. This is in 108 Caramel Beige and I can't remember if this was my skin tone shade or not. It is definitely on the lighter side but I'm kind of interested to use it and see if I do like it or not. I can't really remember. I know I have this one and the other one that l'oreal has but the other one is definitely too dark of a shade for me right now so that's why i chose this one and i think i'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand and then go in with a brush first and then go in with the beauty sponge So now I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna go over that. It's a little weird because I have lip gloss on. So I feel like my lips look weird. Or not lip gloss, I have, what do I have? This Milani uh, Keep It Smooth Lux Lip Treatment. Whoa. I really like using that after I exfoliate my lips. They also have a lip scrub that you can buy. And I like using that. One after the other. So I think everything is nicely blended into the skin now. And we can move on to concealer. Now for concealer, I'm gonna be using two different ones. I'm gonna be using this Maybelline Fit Me. And I used to love this concealer. This was actually my first drugstore concealer that I actually started using consistently. And then I also have this NYX HD concealer, which is super bright, but I like the brightening effect of this when I do want a bright under eye, which is not on a day-to-day -day basis. But when I want an extra brightness underneath my eye, I do like to use a little bit of this NYX HD concealer. So I'm gonna put both of them together, obviously, and use them both. This concealer is in the shade 
25 medium. So, I mean, this concealer is pretty light on its own. And then the NYX concealer, I'm just gonna put right on top of that. But I'm only going to add it underneath my eye. And then of course I'm gonna use my beauty sponge to just blend that all in. And get that super, super brightening effect. Yeah, this is definitely not how bright I like my concealer nowadays. But I feel like back then it was a thing to have super, super bright concealer, which is why my shades are just like so unbelievably light. Okay, so we got most of that blended out. It is fully blended out, but it is a little brighter than what I normally like it like to be like, but it's what we got, so it's what we're gonna work with and what we're gonna roll with. So to set that powder, but actually before I set, I'm gonna cream contour, and I'm gonna use my favorite, which is the Maybelline Fit Me. This is actually a foundation stick. I don't really have much left, so I'll try to work with what I have, but, this is like the most perfect contour stick ever. I mean, I know it's a foundation stick, but I really, really love it to contour and it just blends so easily. And I like a pretty dark contour because I mean, I can be pretty light during these cold months, but once it starts to warm up, I do get a bit of a tan. So that's why I feel like I need to go in with a really dark contour shade versus like that medium brown contour shade. Okay, I don't know how that's gonna work. Didn't really have much, so I couldn't make like straight lines like I wanted to, but it's all good. So I'm gonna first use the sponge and just blend that out. I feel like using the sponge to blend out any cream contour is like the smart thing to do. It helps it melt into the skin and just look a little bit more natural. I just look, it just looks so much more natural like that. I just love it. Now to set all of my face, my entire face, I'm not gonna use two different powders, I'm just gonna use one. And I'm gonna use this Romo Stay Matte Powder. And if you guys noticed, I've been using a lot of drugstore in this video, and it definitely was not intentional. I feel like I neglect my drugstore sometimes, and I really need to stop doing that because some of these products are just really good and I need to pick them up more often. But majority of the products, as I'm looking at them, are drugstore, and I did not do that intentionally. But I am going to use this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder to set my whole face and I'm also going to use it to set underneath my eyes. So I'm going to use a dry sponge and press that into my skin. Now I was never a fan of baking back then so I definitely did not bake my concealer at all. So just like back then, just going to press it into my skin with the sponge in all the places that I highlighted and then I'll go over it again with a powder brush and just sweep it on the rest of my face. Before we go any further with our face, we're gonna do our eyes and I want to use this Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia. This was like one of her best palettes in her collection that she has of palettes. She has this one, she has the salt, uh, Soft and Sultry. I think that one is also another popular one. But this one's been around for a little while. And not a lot of people love the Subculture palette, but I have it, I own it, and I actually do love it. But I decided to choose this one um, because it was definitely a whole lot more popular and I have dug into it a little bit. I haven't gone crazy with the palette, but definitely have used a few shades out of here. So we're just gonna create something simple because this tutorial isn't necessarily based upon the eye look. It's just about using old products, you know, basically 
using them again for the first time in a long time and seeing if you still love them or not. So I'm just gonna create something really, really simple and not to be so intense. So I'm gonna first grab golden ochre in the palette and I'm just gonna put that in my crease. And this is going to basically be my transition shade. This palette does have a lot of kick up in the pan, but that's honestly never bothered me. Just as long as it's applying to my lid as smoothly as possible, that's really all I care about. Right on top of that, I'm just gonna put regular and kind of just put it on my lid but also like in my crease and just kind of just smoke that out basically and just be done. Okay, so for inner corner highlight, oh my gosh. I want to use Primavera. No, actually, I think I'm gonna use Tempera, which is like this lighter pale shade almost. Nope, I changed my mind again. I'm gonna use a Vermeer, and it's like a glittery, like a light pink, but glitter. <coughs> Bless me, sorry. Glitter shadow and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner and also use it to highlight my brow bone. So. Yes, okay. So I'm going to use this L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner Pencil. And it's really, really creamy and smooth. I remember being obsessed with this uh, black liner and it's just like so black. It's, it blends out like a dream if you want to like smudge it, but it also is very dark in your waterline. So I'm gonna line my upper lash line and my bottom waterline as well. So I'm just gonna use this little mirror to do that. mascara I'm not gonna be putting on false lashes today I feel like the only lashes that I would probably use for this kind of video would be the Ardell wispies because they've been around for a long time and it is a go-to lash for a lot of beauty gurus including myself I definitely love that lash but I figured I'd give you guys a video without lashes so I am gonna be using three mascaras since I'm not using any false lashes because I wanna to try to get the most out of my natural lashes. And I'm gonna use the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Now this isn't like the best mascara ever, but it still is a pretty decent mascara. So I'm gonna use this. And I'm also gonna use two drugstore options, which are the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black and the Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. These two are OG mascaras and they're really, really good. I love using the telescopic one to give me length at the top, but also to get my bottom lash line because I would much prefer to go in with a mascara with a thinner wand versus a thick one. And then the voluminous one, carbon black, will be at the top alongside the Smashbox. So I'm just going to apply all of these lash mascaras and then we can continue on with finishing up the rest of the face. Okay, so we only have a few more products left. I'm gonna spray my face down with this MAC Fix Plus spray. This is another thing that has been around for quite some time, so I think it's okay for me to use that. Plus, I don't have too many setting sprays to choose from, and that's probably 
the oldest thing that I own. So I'm just using my sponge just to press that into my skin a little more. I really forgot how mattifying that foundation is. It's super, super mattifying. Not uncomfortable matte, but definitely makes my face look very dry. So for bronzer, I'm going to use both of these. This is the L'Oreal True Match Powder. And as you can see, I've definitely hit pan in this because I used it a lot. It's even broke, but I definitely hit pan and I used to use it a lot. First, I used it to like set my foundations and stuff when I was a little bit more tanner. Um, now I just use it for bronzer, honestly. So I'm just gonna take a bronzing brush and use that and then I'll use the Hula Benefit on my nose. For blush today, I'm going to be using this NYX Ombre blush, and it's like a purple pink tone, but I really love this blush. And this was probably one of my first blush purchases. I was so scared to like have like a really pink blush, so I was like, let me just go for purple because it's more my favorite color and I don't know. But I think this blush is very pretty and it definitely complements the eyeshadow today for highlighter today before there was a palette by jaclyn hill or even her vault collection or i believe even before nicole guerrero had her highlighter um kit with anastasia bh cosmetics had the carly bible palette and Although I'm not crazy about the eyeshadow itself, these highlighters at the bottom were just like everything to me and I stopped using them because I've been using so many different other new highlighters and stuff like that. But I remember these highlighters being so bomb. So I'm gonna use the darker gold as well as the lighter gold one and kind of mix these two together here in the middle to create the perfect highlight shade. Do you guys see that? Do you see that? What highlighter have you seen me put on in a previous video that looks like this? If you know, definitely leave it in the comment section down below, but I don't think there has been any. Why did I stop using these? I feel like that highlight just blew away the, the inner quarter shade. That highlight was just so breathtaking. I wanna take the pink one and use that in my inner corner and brow bone as well, just because it was just so pigmented. Hello, Carly. So for my lips, I'm gonna take this uh, Milani lip pencil in the shade number four, which I think is nude, all natural. And it's really small because I used to use the heck out of this thing. I'm gonna line my lips with this and then my favorite lipstick is this Maybelline Nude Embrace lipstick, but it's been around for a while, so. I'm gonna use that since it's my favorite. It's a nude and it'll definitely go with the look. Okay guys, so that is everything. I feel like my face looks really good. Um, I didn't realize how good these products really are. 
Uh, the one thing that I will say is that the foundation, because it's a little bit more on the dry side, I would use it during the hotter months because that's when I'm most oiliest. And right now I'm not too oily, so I don't necessarily need all of this matte going on, but I do love the look as a whole. Also, I would definitely use one of my other setting powders, like a loose setting powder to set underneath my eyes, whether that's the Airspin powder or some high-end brand, but definitely would use a loose powder underneath my eyes and not necessarily um, this one right here, which is this Rimmel Stay Matte. I would use it around the rest of the perimeter of my face, but just not underneath my eyes. But everything else is good to go. The one thing that surprised me or um, set me back a little bit the most was this Carly Bible palette with the highlighters. Like I truly forgot how good these highlights are and they're really good. So <laughs> I kept this around for a reason. These two in the middle is what I used on the cheekbones, nose and lip. And then this pink one right here is what I added into the inner corner and on my brow bone. But definitely, definitely, definitely surprised by this. Like, why am I not using this more? So you'll definitely see me using that a lot more. This lip is definitely my favorite lip. And I will be using it in a few more videos. It's just because it's my go-to kind of lip. And I don't really experiment with a lot of different lipsticks. I kind of just have my favorites and that's really it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun doing this. It definitely gave me a different outlook on some of the products that I've just been having hiding in my drawer and not using. Definitely going to use them a lot more. Maybe not all together as one, but definitely individually with other things. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, bell notification on, so you can be notified every time I upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video or vlog, whichever one comes first. Bye, guys.